With people across the United States staying at home in the coronavirus pandemic, there is an increased reliance on the Internet to try and work and connect remotely. Global Content Delivery Network and cloud service company Akamai reporting over the last month that it's seen global traffic increase by 30 percent and has remained steady at that le level for the month of April as well. Joining us right now is Akamai's co-founder and CEO, Tom Lighton. And Tom, it's great to see you this morning. How are you doing? Very good, thanks. Nice to be with you. So let, let's talk about what we've seen in the increase in traffic. What's the, the good news on that? And are there any problems that you've seen with trying to ramp up to keep up with the demand? Well, pretty much everything has moved online, as you know. Uh, pretty much all commerce is online. A lot of people uh, you know, using social media to communicate. Uh, you have distance learning. You have pretty much everybody working remotely. And this has placed uh, a lot of demand on the Internet. And I've uh, been, you know, with Akamai's business, you know, helping the Internet be fast, reliable and secure. That's meant there's a lot of traffic moving through our platform now. Uh, and as you mentioned, uh, huge increases just in the month, month of March. And uh, that's now being sustained going forward. So, so what's that mean, though, as, as so many people are trying to get on the Internet? I mean, I notice it here sometimes around 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning when everybody in the neighborhood, the kids are getting online, other people are starting to work online, too. Sometimes it does slow down the network. What have you seen? Yeah, there are hot spots here and there, uh, you know, in some cities and some carriers. When you get a year's worth of traffic growth in a few weeks, uh, you know, that can, you know, identify areas where there's a, a lack of capacity now. Uh, and this is where Akamai really helps. We have our platform deployed in 4,000 locations in 1,000 cities. And so when we deliver that content, we can deliver it really close to the end user. So it doesn't add to the congestion that is, you know, clogging some data centers and peering points. So this is a time where we're making a really big difference for the Internet as a whole. Hey, Tom, mm -hmm. how do you think about the, the long the long term impacts of all of this? In terms of investment, investment uh, in more infrastructure, uh, families and uh, businesses own investment in uh, higher levels of broadband. Do you think this is a forever situation? So you're going to be seeing massive upgrades across the board and big spends on more infrastructure? Or do people say to themselves, this is going to last, hopefully, and I say hopefully, you know, a month, two, three months, and then somehow as people, as, as, the, com as the country reopens, there's going to be less of a, a, a need for the, the backbone to be strengthened? That's a great question. And, you know, I think there's a pretty strong likelihood that emerging from this pandemic, there is much more use of the Internet across the board than there was going into it. You know, as people get used to doing all their shopping online, I, I think you'll see a huge jump there over time. Uh, the movie releases are all online. As people get used to watching more of the media uh, online, that'll persist. Work from home, you know, there's just a huge jump there. And once everybody gets used to that, there are some advantages there. And I think you'll see enterprises have a lot more of that going forward. So I think the usage of the Internet uh, will take a permanent leap forward uh, once we emerge from the pandemic. Tom, what's that mean just in terms of the capital expenditure that's going to have to be put in to really beef up these systems? I mean, can the Internet ever break or is there a limit to what we can do? How much money needs to be poured in to really shore things up? Yeah, there, there's, uh, well, there's always a limit, uh, which can depend on, you know, where you are and uh, what city, what carrier, what infrastructure is there. Uh, you know, is Akamai delivering your content makes a big difference. And, uh, you know, for example, we're, you know, ramping up our investment. Uh, you know, we doubled our peak traffic in March just year over year, and doubling is, you know, pretty extraordinary. It's, you know, more than a couple years' worth of growth uh, packed in, you know, just to, you know, March. Uh, so I think you will see a lot more investment uh, because I think the Internet is going to be much more in demand. Who, who do you think does that investing, Tom? Because all we hear about from companies right now is how they're trying to cut back on capital expenditures because they're so concerned um, about the revenue that they're losing, about the additional costs they're having to spend to deal with uh, the coronavirus. I think uh, there's a lot of folks who make investments, starting with governments. I think the carriers are already investing. Uh, you know, they, they need to respond to the demand in traffic. They make money by doing that. 
Uh, and you'll see companies that you know live on top of the internet and make it better, like Akamai. We're investing more to add a lot of capacity uh, going forward because that's good for business and it's good for the world. Hey, Tom, though, do you think that consumers, that those costs will get passed on to consumers in the form of higher prices? Do you think that, that consumers are going to be more inclined to spend more on a monthly basis on their cable bill, for example, or call it their, their broadband bill to, uh, again, to upgrade their own service because they're going to have, uh, they're going to want to have less buffering on, on Netflix? Yeah, I don't think that you'll see the consumers uh, paying more. That's not usually how it works. Uh, in fact, over time, consumers end up spending less. Uh, but the money is, you know, made on the other end, on the supply side, uh, you know, and as more watching is done online, as more purchasing is done online, that does create more revenue into the ecosystem that will pay for the build out. John, you mentioned that you're spending more. Your capital expenditures have actually increased because I, I, I have a tough time finding a single company that says it's actually going to be spending more this year. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, we're. Our company is uh, doing extremely well, uh, you know, as a leading provider of security and delivery services on the Internet, uh, business is very strong for us. We are growing headcount and we are growing our capital investment, uh, you know, to be able to support the demand for our services. And uh, we're very fortunate because you're right. A lot of companies are in a position of cutting back right now. But I, I think very different situation at Akamai. And and of course, we're very profitable, so we can afford to make this investment to, uh, you know, provide even stronger and larger services in the future.